what's going on everybody it's your favorite auntie mo and we are back for another episode review of black ink crew compton this is season one episode six big bear uh, bitch oh my <laughs> before we get into the review if you have not done so just yet go ahead and subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit that notification bell so you will know but bam auntie over there doing something else let me go see what the hell she over there doing okay y'all this review is not going to be long at all because it wasn't a whole lot that went on with the episode. For the most part, it gave me a damn headache. Um, I'm tired. Y'all, listen, y'all almost didn't get no review out of me tonight. Your auntie is so tired. Like, I'm trying to keep these eyes of mine open. I am so doggone tired. I had to work outside today. Um... Hence why I still ain't done my damn hair. I know what y'all thinking. Auntie, you know I love you, but uh, fuck is you gonna do with your head? I know, I know, trust me. It's a battle with my hair as it is. Being the environment that I work in, trying to keep my shit fried, dyed, laid to the side, looking good and all of that. In this Texas heat, and then wanna be raining and muggy and all of that, you know. I'm just going through it, y'all. Y'all just pray for me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just pray for me. At least I ain't got no wrinkles. I still look good. You know what I'm saying? But um, this review ain't going to be too long. I'm drinking on my peach Moscato tonight. Hopefully, y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So, we at the shop. Um, Barbie isn't there. So, Nessie is like playing like she's going to fill in and be Barbie for the time being until Barbie gets there. They just there chilling, clowning, having a good ass time, whatever, right? Nessie and her um, sister ended up going back to, back out of town to Philly. That's where it is. They ended up going back to Philly. And Nessie said that her mother ended up giving her the blessing to work in the shop. She was proud to see how everybody stood up for Voodoo Doll when um, Alana tries to clown her about her little bucket naked pictures and about her being a cam girl and all that. Mama says she was proud to see everybody kind of come together as a family. So she gave Nessie her blessing for working in the shop, right? Just then, Voodoo, no, um, Lamira ends up walking in next. Lamira's like, what's up to everybody? Still, you know, speaking. Tim is still in his little funny ass feelings that he's in. Just because that's Tim Teddy, we don't give a damn. We don't give a damn about you being in your feelings. Boy, man up. Get the hell over, right? Just then, um, Voodoo Doll ends up walking in and everybody's like, ah, oh, what up, Voodoo? Because, you know, this is their first time seeing her after she done showed her monkey and everything at the photo shoot again when Alana tried to clown her. Lemire then starts making fun of Alana that it didn't even phase Voodoo. She came out there. She owned her shit. She came strutting out. Hmm. Letting her freak flag fly with the monkey and everything. She was proud of herself, whatever, right? KP comes in, says that he wants to take everybody to Big Bear for like a team building exercise. Now, um, KP, I don't know if you don't watch these other Black Ink Crew franchises, but usually team building shit, it don't really work out too well. Alana's in a green screen with a bulletproof titty vest on. I ain't get that. I ain't get that. Voodoo does a cold ass tattoo on herself. You got to be a cold, stone cold motherfucking killer to do a tattoo on yourself. On yourself. Tattoos hurt. I got seven of them motherfuckers and they all hurt. It won the from the one that took 10 minutes to the one that took two hours. They all hurt. Damn what you heard, they all damn hurt, okay? But she did a cold ass tattoo right up under her knee on top of that, like damn near on, on her shin. No, ma'am. That bitch is cold as hell. Let me tell you what I like about Voodoo, because at first, you know what I'm saying, I thought she was finna get into this whole, I was raised in a cult thing again, but she didn't. She did say that, you know, for the longest she had to, you know, just um, be caged in and she had to be told what to do, how to do, when to do it, how to brush her teeth, when to brush her teeth, when to piss and all of this other stuff. So once she was able to be free, she was able to express herself and she just likes being who the hell she is. I really do like voodoo. At first I was kind of like, oh girl, you get on my damn nerve. But like I said, after last episode and then 
really just seeing her do this tattoo on herself and explain like, you know, this is why I am aside from that whole cult thing. I got a whole new appreciation for Voodoo. She did a cold ass tattoo on her damn shin. Baby. Big ups, bitch, cheers to you. Cause baby, man, I'd have been all kinda intoxicated in many ways. If I had to do, hell, I'm intoxicated in many ways when I get tattoos, period, <laughs> period, poo. But uh, yeah, she didn't call that tattoo. I liked it though. So it's the day of a camping trip. Everybody's at the shop. They're getting ready to head out. They're over there, they wait for KP. Next thing you know, they hear a big ass horn coming from outside. Tim takes everybody outside and he's like, y'all wanna know how we gonna get to Big Bear? Lo and behold, he opens up the door. KP has rented an RV that they're all gonna ride down to Big Bear in, right? So, um, Lemire ends up calling Danielle to let Danielle know, I mean, um, to let Danielle know that they're getting ready to head out. He says he doesn't feel bad for leaving Danielle because her mom is in town so her mama can watch over her while she's on bed rest or whatever, right? So they on the road again. It's been a ride to the can't no more. They finna go to Big Bear. Now they all in the back, they chilling, they having a good ass time. A good old, good old nigger time in the back. Smoking weed, drinking, eating sandwiches and shit. Just having a good ass time, right? So then, I mean, not in Danielle, what's that girl name? Nessie and um, Barbie, they get to talking about how they, you know, their experiences that they had in jail. Nessie says she spent seven days in jail for vandalism. Barbie said she spent 17 hours when for like doing donuts, some reckless driving, some shit like that. Now, Voodoo Doll, I got another reason why I kind of relate to Voodoo Doll. <laughs> This is a weird little fetish of mine. She was saying that she has always been fascinated by the things that people make in prison. And I can't lie. I've always been, now I don't want to go to jail. Oh no. Bitch, I was arrested one time, spent nine hours in central booking. Oh bitch, I was crying. P.O.P. hold it down. Tell my mama I love her. Baby, hell no. Jail ain't for me, baby. It ain't for your auntie. But I am always fascinated by the things that they make in there and just how how ingenuitive motherfuckers is in jail. Orange is the new black, 60 days in. Please believe if AME comes back with 60 days in, oh, I'm reviewing that shit. I loved that damn show. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. But Voodoo, I was right there with you, girl. I've always been fascinated about the stuff that they can do and how they made it in with them and the world. Like, what? And then you did what? Ooh, for real? So Tim asked, Tim Teddy, you ain't get on my nerves. This fool starts drinking a little bit too much, starts getting drunk. This nigga start reliving his glory days from back in high school. God, he reminded me of that old ass uncle. What was that, Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite? Got drunk and started like, man, I could have took it all away. Coach should have put me in. Tim Teddy ass over there, man. You ain't get trophies like me. I got ribbons, boy. I got medals, my nigga. I was all-star running back, cornerback, fullback, pocket back, all of that back. You ain't get a team like I got a team. You know what I'm saying? I was all-star everything, my nigga. Fuck you mean? Like, dog, what is you even talking about? We graduated school a long time ago. Ain't nobody holding on to what is my nigga, what is you talking about? Barbie and everybody getting irritated. Then he starts rambling on about you. I, I'm trying to tell you if you on my team, then you on my team. He drunk as hell. I can tell you how to get the bag though. I'm trying to tell you how you can get the bag though. Like niggas like that. I don't want to be around you when you like that. Because you going to kill all the little buzz I got. Because I got to try to keep up with what the hell you said. And then if I don't keep up with what you said, you going to get mad. And then it's going to be a problem. No, I don't like hanging with niggas like that. Barbie was me. Barbie got sick of it. She like, nigga, shut up. Get your ass back in your Cadillac on Fofos. 
and 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 go, my nigga. I need you to come to the present. You all the way back in the back. Niggas don't ride on four four with swangers no more. What is you doing? Like bring it back here to 2019. Get out of 98, 97, my nigga. We not at home coming, okay? This ain't the game that's gonna determine whether or not you gonna make it on the all-star team. This ain't what we doing. She, I, I was with her ass. Then Nessie got into it. Because you know Nessie and Tim, they still kind of got their little beef with each other too. They end up getting into it. Nessie calls Tim Teddy a bitch. I was right there. Y'all, I'm sorry. But y'all already know, auntie not feeling Tim Teddy. I'm not feeling Tim Teddy. He rubs me raw. He don't rub me the right way. I don't like his ass. They all end up getting into it. Ink Drippin has to come and tell, basically tell Barbie, like, look here, you steady going on with this nigga. You right. I get it. You right. But he not going to stop. He drunk. He still in the fourth quarter with two plays left. And they got the ball. Okay, he don't know what the hell going on right now. So don't keep arguing with this nigga because you just gonna end up pissing yourself off with it. So Barbie was getting irritated. She was like, get me off this motherfucking RV or I'm gonna go postal on this bitch. Like she started <laughs> yelling and the whole time, mind you, KP sitting there like this. Like, ain't a damn thing happened. That's why a lot of niggas don't like you, KP. Because you don't say nothing. You left this fool, and like they were saying, you the only one that he listened to anyway. You his daddy, so tell this fool to shut up. Finally, when KP got irritated or got enough of it, he was like, all right, man, chill, 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 chill. Which he still didn't goddamn chill. Y'all, he was getting on my I'm just getting on my nerves. So finally they get to damn Big Bear. Soon as they get there, everybody tired and they hungry. They want to eat some for real, for real food. Not no ham sandwiches. So KP like, okay, we need to get here. We need to check in. You know, we just going to take a tour, see how everything go, get everything set up with our tents, and then we're going to go get something to eat. The tour guide starts showing them animals and shit and axe throwing and all of that. They're like, what we going to, when we going to eat, man? Like, I don't give a damn about none of this. What is we doing? So finally, the girls get irritated. Nessie, Barbie, Alana, and a voodoo doll, they hop in the RV and take off in the RV, right? Now, KP sees them. Lemire sees them. Lemire like, oh, shit, they drive the boat. <laughs> God, that made me cackle just a little bit. So KP goes, take off, running after them. Finally gets them to stop in the RV. They only go to the end of the damn driveway. So he catches up with them, gets them out of the RV. Soon as they get out of the RV, the boys hop in the RV. They take off like, all right, now we finna go get something to eat. They was pissed. I don't blame. I was. I would have been pissed if I was their ass too. But they shouldn't have been stupid enough to get out. Hell no. I'd have been like, I'm not getting out this motherfucker until we go get something to eat. God damn it. You can get in here with me and we can ride out. But I ain't going nowhere until you get something to eat because I get hangry. And don't nobody want to see me when I'm hangry. So y'all like, they was like to hell with it. They called a damn Uber. They called an Uber to some kind of damn saloon, went to the saloon, met them some throw white folks, and had the time of their damn life. Y'all, let me tell you, me and my best friend Trina, that's some of the funnest damn times we had, is going out, meeting some random white boys that were frat boy wasted, and we would drink with their ass and we would have the time of our damn life. And that's exactly what they did in that bar. With the white women too. They was just dancing, having a good ass time. They stayed at that damn bar till one o'clock in the morning. Now, Alana asked, she didn't want to leave with them when they got in the Uber. She was like, no, nah, we're all supposed to be a team and I'm not going to leave the guys. Um, I'm going to stay and I'm just going to wait for the guys. Now, bitch, you hopped your ass in that RV when they was finna go get something to eat. But now all of a sudden, you you say you want to stay and you want to wait for the guys, Mr. the hell with you. That could have been your opportunity to get to know the females a little bit better after you made yourself look stupid just the day before. That could have been your time to get to know everybody. But hey, you choose what you choose. It is what it is. So y'all, they head back to the campsite. The guys got everything set up. They got the tent set up. They got a campfire set up. All the guys in the lineup, they're sitting out there by the campfire when the Uber drops them off. Now, they're tired. 
They're hot. I mean, they're, they're drunk as hell. They're cold as hell. They ready to go in the RV, get their things, because Nessie said she found a hotel that's close to Big Bear where they're going to stay at because they don't want to camp outside in the tents. Now, KP is holding the keys. He's like, no, fool me once, shame on you. I mean, fool me. Uh, you know what it is. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So, no. Y'all, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's what it is. I got it. Peace. This goddamn Moscato, bitch. Y'all already know how I be. <laughs> but he holding the damn keys. Won't let him get in the RV and get their stuff. Now, they drunk, they tired, and they cold. God damn it. Ne I mean, uh, what's that girl named Voodoo Doll starts climbing on top of the RV trying to get inside. Barbie snaps. Barbie starts chunking shit in the fire. Chunking the chairs, chunking the tent, chunking all kind of shit in the fire because KP refuses to give her the keys. Now, KP, I get it. You don't want to look like no punk, so you holding on to the keys like, no, I'm going to do, you can get in there when I say get in there. But at the same time, once you seen this the twitch started going in her eye, she started chunking shit in the fire. As soon as I see that, I was like, oh, shit, somebody going to jail. Y'all can't do this right as white folks like this. Uh-uh. Y'all ain't in Compton no more. Somebody going to goddamn jail. And then Barbie's ass, after she done tossed a whole damn rock through the window, done tossed shit all in the fire, she calls the police. And tells the police that somebody is holding her stuff hostage. Meanwhile, Nessie gets upset. Nessie and... KP start going at it. Now, Nessie starts, Nessie was actually like backing Barbie up and was like, you can't expect him to do this. You know, that he's just trying to pull a boss move, whoop de whoop yada, yada, yada. It went from that to Nessie getting so pissed, calling him a bitch all up in his face. You ain't shit. You ain't nothing but Kyla, Pratt, Kyla Pratt's boyfriend. I was like, damn. That's some shit shit to say right there. You told your boss you ain't nothing but a but a female boyfriend, bitch, you ain't shit. Oh, man. He was like, you could see it on his face. He felt di very disrespected. How the hell you gonna disrespect me like that, bitch? That's what he was looking like. Y'all, the police show up. She's telling them I had to break the window just to try to get my things. The police very politely let her go in there gather her belongings. Soon as she comes out, they proceed to put some handcuffs on her motherfucking ass. Y'all, they arresting her ass for vandalism. That's messed up. You call laws to help you. Laws end up taking your ass to jail. Get up, get, get, get down. 911 is joking, yo. That's fucked up. I thought that was real messed up for them to do that. Then the police go to Voodoo and start putting handcuffs on Voodoo Doll. Ink Drippin' has to go over there and let the laws know, like, look here, she didn't have nothing to do with that. She wasn't over here throwing stuff in the fire. That was Erica Thompson or Erica Thomas or whatever Barbie name. That was her. Y'all, they end up letting Voodoo go, but still end up taking Barbie to jail. Now, Voodoo mad. Voodoo like, I don't want to be around you niggas. I don't want nothing to do with you niggas. I'm out. I don't give a damn. So, Nessie is mad. Nessie ready to leave. Barbie going to jail. Voodoo don't know what the hell to do around y'all too black for me. I just don't want to do this. Y'all, the episode ends from there. Barbie done ended up getting her ass back in goddamn jail. I wonder if she going to do 17 hours or she going to do it. Uh, girl, what was the point of that? Now, granted, at the same time, KP, you took it a little bit too far. Once you seen she started going crazy, you should have gave that girl them damn keys and you should have left the shit alone. But you didn't, and you see what the hell happened. Y'all, but the episode ended from there. If I forgot anything, please let me know because I'm tired as hell. And I kind of went off my memory. I really didn't go over my notes a lot. So, hey, if I missed something, please leave it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I, Mo, will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. 
Arrava!